Hey everybody, Blackberry Brad here for BarryPro.com with the Blackberry Priv. Figured I'd go over the actual Android operating system on the Blackberry Priv. Uh, some may be wondering how it's different than any other Android device, or maybe wondering what it's like if you've never used an Android device. So I figured I'd go over, uh, try to go as in depth as I possibly can with it. Uh, so right now we're looking at my home screen itself. Uh, now the nice thing about Android is you have multiple home screens uh, available to you. Uh, with some An Android OEMs give you about five, six, sometimes four. Uh, BlackBerry has given you uh, one, two, three uh, home screens to use. Uh, but if you watch the what is a widget video, uh, you'll see why that, that is. Uh, some of the Android OEMs give you more home screens just so you can kind of have customize with more more uh, widgets on the device and stuff like that uh, and if you watch what what is a widget video um, you'll figure out what BlackBerry does differently with widgets but um, so this is the home screen uh, as you can see I have different apps on here I have different widgets again a widget is a is a way to get information from an application without actually having to go into that application uh, now down here are my uh, designated app icons so those are my my phone BlackBerry Hub, my app tray, Google Chrome is my browser, and my camera. Those are always going to be there no matter what home screen I'm on, and no matter what screen I'm pretty much on besides if I'm in the settings. So down here, as I said, there is an app tray. So I hit this, more apps are going to display right on the device. So this is going to be all the apps that are listed on my phone. Uh, if you have more apps, this list is going to look bigger. If you have fewer apps, it's not going to look as big as this one. Um, so Again, it's going to list all the apps that I have on the device. And if I see an application that I want to go use, I can go ahead and quickly click on that application and it will bring me right there. Now, as well on the bottom, you also have three different icons. One is a back button, one is a home button, and one is your task manager button, uh, or pretty much your multitask button, uh, some people like to refer it to. Back button will bring you right back to the last screen that you were previously on. So if we hit that, it's going to bring me right back to my app tray. If I hit the, the middle button, the home button, that's going to bring me right back to my home screen. Uh, now, if I'm on my home screen and I hit the back button, it won't go back to any other screen because I am now home and it pretty much thinks that this is where I'm going to start from. Uh, if I hit my task manager, my multi-task button, it will show me all the apps that I've been using and I can kind of go back and forth between different apps if I want to. Uh, so if I want, I can go ahead and go into my BlackBerry Hub. I can hit that button again and go back into Twitter. Pretty simple. So that's the uh, multitask button there. I'm going to hit the home button, bring us back to the home screen. Now, say you want to do different, you know, mess around some of the settings on the phone. How do you get there? Well, one of the easiest way is to slide down from the top. Once I slide down from the top, it's going to reveal a couple of things. First, it's going to reveal uh, the notification tray. So the notification tray is going to be where all your notifications are happening. So anything that you do on your phone or anything that comes to your phone, whether it's text message, BBM, email, uh, phone call, missed phone call, um, anything like that, uh, application, notification, anything like that will go into the tray, the notification tray. So there's different things here. One of the cool things about Google is it allows me to, um, it has what's called Google Now. Uh, Pretty much Google now is learning things from me and, and seeing all the things that are important to me and putting it right in my face um, or give me quick access to that information. So it knows I'm a Philadelphia Flyers fan and it's let me know that the Flyers are, are playing in Winnipeg tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go Flyers. Um, one of the cool things, if I want to, if I slide down even more, it's going to bring up different settings. So it's going to bring me up a battery saver icon, cast screen for you if you have Google Chromecast, Location, flashlight, uh, my cell service, airplane mode, auto rotate, lock, uh, Bluetooth, and Wi Fi. Also, it's going to have this little uh, brightness slider here. So I hold this and I hit that, it's going to allow me to adjust my, my brightness. Uh, and as you see, if I did that, as I did that, it pretty much took me back to my home screen so I can see what the brightness is going to be like on the home screen. If I let go, it brings me right back to that the quick settings tray right there um, so up, up here a little a little bolt here I can actually hit that and that will bring me into even more settings on the device uh, so again I can go into Wi-Fi I can go into Bluetooth data usage uh, more 
will show me the different things for, as far as SMS, default SMS app, NFC, uh, mobile plan. Uh, I can also do cellular network and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to go back. There's also settings for display. Swipe shortcuts, sound notifications. That's where you would go to change your notifications for your phone, for your ringtone, uh, for different apps and stuff like that. You can do storage. It'll show me how much storage I have on the device. Total space on the phone is 23.86 gigs available or uh, on the device after the OS is on there. Available is 19.45. I have about three and a half gigs of apps on here. Uh, not too many pictures of videos or downloads, so not too bad for. Uh, second day usage of this device uh, and also allow me to see my cache data and it also let me see my SD card data now here I have a 64 gig card in there with about 59.1.6 gigabytes on there with about 30 gigs of available space le left on it if I were to hit on mount SD card that will allow me to remove success or easily remove my SD card without it corrupting any files or anything like that where I can also erase my SD card. If I wanted to completely erase my SD card and it was, you know, it was doing weird things or something was corrupted on it, I can erase it and clear all that stuff out. Highly recommend don't doing that unless you're in a last ditch effort. Um, battery will show me my battery percentage and also my battery history. So show me things that are using my battery. So my screen, uh, Android system, BBM, Android OS, Google services, phone being idle, and voice calls. Uh, Wi-Fi dialer, cell standby. And also gives me a nice little chart up top showing me my, pretty much my battery usage uh, for the pretty much day. So I start at 100% at about 9, about 8.45, uh, and I'm pretty much slated to hit um, I've got 32% left, about approximately about five hours left on the device, which isn't too bad uh, for the device um, as far as battery life goes. And if I go back, let's see what else we can kind of go through. Um, apps. This will allow you to see uh, again the list of apps that you have on the device. Uh, you can see all the downloaded apps, and you actually this is where you can go to uninstall an application if you don't want it. So, for instance, if I want it, if I didn't want the best 12. I can click it and go into uninstall. That will uninstall the device and remove it fully from my phone. Uh, that's the apps. It also shows you apps that are actually pre-installed on your uh, device. Some of them you can get rid of and some of them you can't. Um, some of the carry apps won't let you to get rid of them. Uh, some things that the phone needs, like Android operating system, uh, allow you to do so. You also can... Uh, we'll do another video on this, but i uh, go more in depth. But you also can save an application onto your SD card. Instead of saving it onto your uh, phone's internal memory, you can save it onto an SD card. This is great for devices that have low uh, internal memory. Um, you know, phones that are prepaid phones, for instance, that might have, you know, 8 gigs of RAM boot or internal memory. Uh, but with a device like the uh, Priv having 32 gigs of internal memory, um, you shouldn't really need to do that unless you want to. By all means, do so. Users allows me to set up uh, if I have like a if I want to use like a guest mode on my device, or I can add users to the device um, and profiles, which is pretty nice. Tap and pay allows me to stand, set up uh, Android Pay if I want to use this with my credit card to pay for things at uh, gas stations and McDonald's and whatnot. Uh, advanced interactions. This allows me to, if you're, if you're coming from BlackBerry 10, there's a couple of features that are still here. Um, one is flip to mute. You can, if your phone is ringing and you want to mute the phone real quick, simply just take the device, flip it over, and the, the phone call will be muted. It will no longer, the ring, the phone will still be ringing itself, but there will be no more um, audible noise. Unlock my device real quick. You also can do hold to stay awake. So if I'm holding the device, it'll allow you to uh, keep the device to stay awake. Uh, or if I flip it over, it will allow me to save power by turning off the screen. Uh, one of the other some things, location services, that will allow you to turn on and off your uh, location services, you know, GPS settings and stuff like that. Uh, security, that's where you would go to set up different uh, screen locks. So if I go into screen lock, and it's going to ask me for my pin real quick. If I hit my pin, it's going to give me uh, different options such as swipe, um, pattern, 
swipe is just a basic swipe of the screen and it'll allow you right into your phone. Pattern, you can have a, a, a pattern that you can draw right in your device um, to unlock your device. Picture pattern, uh, picture uh, allows you to use a, an image and as your password unlock. Uh, you can use pin number or a physical password. I like pin numbers, just as quick and easy, uh, but definitely can do that however you please. You also can set up things like automatically lock after a certain amount of time. I do five seconds, uh, just in case my device is out of my hand. Uh, and you know, if I'm laying down on a, a register counter or something like that, and someone wants to pick it up, it's gonna be a quick lock after about five seconds of not being used. Uh, power button instantly locks, so I can hit the power button; it'll instantly lock my device. Uh, there's another some other settings for things like automatically wipe. If someone tries to enter the PIN number or password into my device, after about 10 tries, it's going to fully lock the or wipe the device. Um, and that way all my information is saved. Nobody can have access to it. Um, owner info, I can put that in there and my information will be on there in case the device gets lost or stolen. They can see that information right on my lock screen. Smart lock is a great feature, uh, especially if you're using uh, your device for different things like watching videos and stuff like that. Uh, trust the device. So, for instance, if you're uh, connected to a uh, Android or Wear watch, you can use that to unlock your your BlackBerry Priv. Uh, you can also use uh, on body detection. So, if it realizes that's in your hands or on your body, it won't lock the device. Um, Trusted Face allows you to use your facial recognition to unlock your device or keep your device from un being unlocked if you're using it in your hand. Trusted Places, if it realizes you're in a safe spot like your house. Um, and you're telling you're not worried about your phone being locked there. It won't lock the device if it realizes it's there. Trusted voice, if you can set it up so it can hear your voice and uh, it will keep the device from being unlocked. Uh, let's see, what else can we go through? Uh, accounts, this is where you can add different email accounts onto your device. Um, so if you hit an account, you can add different, uh, you know, email accounts, different uh, Google accounts. You can do Twitter, you can do uh, Yahoo account such like that language input this is where you can go and change the language of your device or input methods if you want to use a different keyboard backup or reset this allows you to back up the device to different backup files such as uh, Google and that's where you can also go to uh, erase your device as well uh, diagnostic you can turn on or off the diagnostic uh, feature and usage to be sent to BlackBerry I always keep that on like I've said in the past, just to make sure the device, uh, if anything goes wrong, BlackBerry can know about it. Uh, date and time, that allows you to change the clock around. So if you want to use a military time or if you want to use, uh, do a time zone update or set up the, the time on your own. Accessibility, you can see things for the, the visually impaired or um, stuff like that. Printing, you can if you have a wireless printer, you can set that up with, through there. Uh, about device, we'll show you different things as, as far as uh, battery status, battery level, um, shows you processor information, Android operating system version, model number, and stuff like that. So that is the BlackBerry, the settings on the BlackBerry Priv. One of the things I want to show you is if you go into the app tray, there are different, there's ways to go and see different widgets. You also can see different shortcuts as well. So that is the widgets and the shortcuts for the BlackBerry Priv on the Android OS. If I hit my device and lock it, this will be my lock screen. So my lock screen has different uh, notifications on it. Anything that has a, the BlackBerry splat to it, that's a notification. So it's trying to tell me, hey, um, Google Play services need to be updated. Uh, I took a screenshot earlier. Uh, and If I wanna view it or save it, if I wanted to unlock, I have different ways of unlocking my device. So I can easily gain access to my phone calls just by swiping up. It's gonna ask me for my PIN number. Oops, hit the back button by And when I do that, it's gonna pretty much bring me into my uh, phone icon or phone app and allow me to dial out if I want to uh, or do go through my contact list and stuff like that. If I have my phone locked again and I slide up from the camera, Hold on. 
it'll bring in my camera. So it allows me to quickly access my camera if I need to get a quick shot. And if I just simply swipe up, it'll allow me to unlock the device as well. Other cool thing, um, there is no swipe up feature to get the device unlocked like there is on a, on a BlackBerry 10 device. Um, so for instance, my Classic was locked, I can swipe up to unlock the device. There is no feature like that. However, there is a double tap feature. So if I double tap the screen, it'll pretty much bring my phone back up and I can go ahead and unlock my device. So that is the Android OS running on the BlackBerry Priv. Uh, definitely, you know, lots to the, the uncover. Uh, we're done, pretty much gonna go through a lot of the settings, uh, setting by setting, uh, go more in depth into those. So stay tuned to bearpro.com for more videos. Brad out. Don't forget to check out the bearpro.com cafe press store, where you can find t-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, laptop bags, bumper stickers, much more to share your bearport.com pride. Most orders are shipped within 24 hours of being placed and pricing is great. Don't forget to go to cafepress.com slash bearreporter.